Coal Time County. Pitch deck. My name is Myson. My name is Zeus. I'm Gavin. I'm Mason. I'm Raphael. Our heat story. HVAC technicians are impacted during this time of the year because it's too hot in the buildings and places they work at and they can overheat and get hurt while repairing the cooling machines. This is our stakeholder. His name is Bill Robinson. He is a general contractor who has worked with HVAC while he has been producing all this business work. Um, our team. Our team is all here and we had a lot of success while making our products because we never had to change but we did improve over time. So current options that HVAC technicians have while working are water bottles and umbrellas but the problem with that is they have to carry from around the work site everywhere and while our product is much more simpler and effective and the issue we wish to solve is HVAC technicians overheating in the spaces they work. Our customers are HVAC technicians who are usually in a middle class setting and usually shop at convenience stores such as Sam's Club, Walmart, and um, Target. Our solution is a portable mister fan that can follow you around. Important benefits is keeping you cool while you work and keep uh, maintaining your temperature and our customer gain would allow HVAC workers to be able to stay cool and be able to work longer without being exhausted. Our main, uh, our main focus of advertisement would primarily be through social media ads and televised, televised commercials and radio advertisements, but our most, our, the one we'd like to focus on the most would be through word to mouth. That way our customer base would already have a feel to what they're gonna they're gonna get. And our main selling point would primarily be in hardware stores, such as Ace Hardware, Home Depot, Lowe's, etc. So we asked 10 people how much they would buy our product for, and this is what we came up with. Uh, we, would, we wish to charge our product for $120, and within a week of selling, we wish to make $1,100. Uh, again, we would price our product at $120. It costs $100 to make one machine, so we'd add $20 for profit. We found 13 HVAC companies in our, in our community, and if seven of them invested into us, um, we could sell 20 units for $120 and make $2,400 in a week. Thank you for your time. Well, first of all, I'd just like to say that this was really well done. I feel like everyone knew kind of what it was that they were supposed to say. Everyone sounded very confident. I think that's a great way to go with the pitch. Um, a couple of things I wrote down, you clearly define the problem and the stakeholders, you clearly define kind of the alternatives that are existing right now for your stakeholders, and I think uh, that is really powerful in showing that you've done your research and thought through this, um, and good use of pictures. A thing I might say, I don't know if word of mouth is a great long-term strategy, but it certainly can be a strategy, and you did list others that Uh, great job, especially for freshmen. Uh, this is actually a really good idea, I, I, I believe. Um, I also think you can, HVAC is a good start, but you can sell it to other folks in the construction industry who are in tight spaces, uh, carpenters, things like that. 
Um, I would also say a way to advertise your product and get it out is um, a lot of organizations have trade shows. So like the Manufacturing Summit is a big event where you can have a booth and they can test your product out and see it. And that's where those folks who are in the HVAC field go to. And so get in front of them that way um, beyond just social media. Um, because most HVAC techs are a little older, they that might not be social media savvy, but there's ways to get in front of them beyond the ideas of, of going to the home people, things like that. Um, but other than that, great concept, great idea. Thank you. Well, good job, team. Uh, I thought it was very professional. Good eye contact, good vocal projection as well. So good job on that. Uh, some of the other things, uh, just from your price, price point, uh, you're selling it for $120 and it costs $100 an acre. That leaves you with, there's five people, that's less than $5 a piece of profit, right? Correct, so I think we should work on uh, possibly increasing that price. So, so your, your project will kind of reminds me of a, a rumba, right, for your, your house. So how much would a rumba cost uh, to purchase? Uh, one of your, not direct competitors, but it's close to it. Do you know what that they charge? Um, from what I've seen, they cost about 160 to about $200. I, I would say you could probably charge close to something like that. So don't undersell yourself. Just because you're a startup, you're allowed to make money and make profit. So I think you should rethink the, the price point. Uh, but it costs $100 to make, and I love that you brought a prototype. Uh, some teams aren't bringing prototypes to the judging panel, and you guys did, and you also showed it, and I, I think I get the concept you're trying to make it like a Roomba, but uh, I love the concept, and I just think you should rethink the price point. You should charge a little bit more money. All right, and before the judges um, get all done, our product is semi-working, so we can turn on the fan part of it. Awesome. Oh, that feels great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, it's one paper, so. Okay. And then the last thing is uh, marketing. There's plenty of uh, avenues to explore with uh, your budget. So uh, if you need help with that, I'd be happy to help, happy to help the team with that as well. So, but good job overall. Mm -hmm. Good time, Kelly. Good job.